George Boyer. I'm the head chef here at Edge Restaurant. I've been working with George now for, for eight years. He's, he started working with me at South Lodge in 2012. And through that time, um, he's progressed from a demi-chef where he's promoted last year to be the head chef of Edge. Back in 2012 when I met Steve, I was a demi-chef in Camellia restaurant, uh, which was a two rosette restaurant. To be with him for the last eight years uh, has been a real pleasure to be grown alongside him. He's really been a mentor towards me and you know really helped me and pushed me in the right direction. And I wouldn't be here without him. It's a, it's a job that he's, he's, he's made for. He's, he's worked with me, he knows my food philosophy, what I'm looking for. He's that gap in between myself and, and the rest of the team to make sure we deliver on the standards that we've uh, set, basically. When I was a really young, young boy, I was like baking with my nan a lot of scones and fruit cakes. Uh, they probably weren't very good, but it really, really did inspire me. From once I left school, it was kind of like a real goal for me, uh, and I just fed into working in a pub. And from there, you know, I kind of learned the basics and then moved on onto South Lodge, where I met Steve in 2012. When I started at South Lodge, it really did open my eyes into the industry. Um, it was a massive step up from where I was and it really did ground me as a chef. It made me really think about what I wanted and where I could go, um, but it took a lot of hard work to get, get here. So when we were working together back at South Lodge, like, I'm sure there was times where we, where we argued or butted heads, um, but that's just because we had a similar ethos in the food and we, we've now driven that both together uh, into what we've created here at Edge. After working with Steve, I went into the past restaurant, uh, which was a Michelin star four rosette restaurant uh, under Matt Gillen. Uh, and there was a really challenging uh, year or so with Matt because his food was so crazy and so wacky. It was totally something I hadn't seen before. After I left the pass, I went to restaurant Tristan's and Horsham, which is another Michelin star restaurant. Um, but even that was around the same time as Steve had started Etch, but we were just doing pop-ups across the country, locally as well, but I was always trying to spend any of my time that I could with Steve, um, working with him at Etch. When Steve offered me a position here at Etch, it was a junior sous chef role, um, I jumped at it, I knew that we, I knew Steve would be able to create a, an incredible restaurant here, and I really wanted to be a part of that, and I really wanted to help him. One of the good things about working with Steve is that he's, he's really puts a lot of time into his team. He wants everyone to progress. You know, I was, when I started Etch, I was a junior sous chef, and within a year and a half, I was head chef because you know he believed in me, and it's the same with everyone else in the kitchen too.